Hi there, my name's John Atkins and this is FWA TV. This week we're going to be taking a special look at one of our top stars at the moment, the wonder kid, Johnny Storm. Over the next 60 minutes we're going to have a look at some of his best matches and most memorable moments from here in the FWA and find out exactly why people refer to him as style in action. The first match we're going to take a look at comes from British Uprising 1 at the York Hall in Bethnal Green at a time when Johnny was still one of the most popular stars on the FWA roster. His opponent for the evening, US sensation AJ Styles. As you've just heard ring announcer Jane Charles say, AJ Styles about to make his way to the ring for the very first time outside of the US. AJ Styles, again a former NWA X Division champion. A former X Division champion of the NWA TNA promotion. Very prestigious championship, Tony. One of the hottest divisions in the United States at the moment is the X Division. Also, AJ Styles happens to be a finalist in the very prestigious Super 8 tournament. That's right, he actually lost out in the tournament finals to Donovan Morgan. A little known fact about AJ Styles, he was actually in WCW in WCW's final days. AJ Styles is definitely a fan favourite. This match should be off the chart. Now you can hear the chance for Johnny. No doubt his opponent will be on his way to the ring very shortly. <laughs> kid himself from Harlow in Essex, it's Johnny Storm. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the pop stars of the FWA. I'm sorry Tony, I know he's a great wrestler, but I just don't like the guy. It's fair enough Nick, each to their own, everyone deserves an opinion, but you're quite right. Johnny Storm is a phenomenal talent. This match should put Johnny's standing on the international scale of wrestling way up there if he can pull a victory off of Mr. AJ Styles. More importantly for Johnny Storm, his pride is quite frankly on the line. His last match, he lost the number one contendership to the FWA heavyweight title to Flash Barker at Hotwire. And now his momentum is going, it's going and it could be gone unless he can beat AJ Styles. At the moment, Doug Williams, Jody Fleisch have a great reputation in the US. Could this be the match to finally get Johnny Storm attention? We'll have to find out. But if I'm a betting man, and quite frankly, Tony, you know I am, I'd say it ain't. Well, like I said, Nick, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion, but there's nothing Johnny Storm can't do when he gets inside the squared circle. If Johnny Storm can pull up a victory here, this will send his star sky high. Styles versus the Wonder Kid Johnny Storm on their first encounter. You can hear the fans firmly behind Johnny Storm as they are AJ Styles. Both men are now circling and they're going to get ready to lock up ready for what should be the start of a fantastic match. You can hear the appreciation from the fans for the overseas competitor. Both men circling, looking for the lockup. Both men lock up, and AJ Styles goes to the waist lock. A waist lock on Johnny Storm from AJ Styles. Johnny Storm into the wrist lock. And AJ Styles, yep, AJ Styles got a wrist lock of his very own. Johnny Storm, what's he going? Reversal, Johnny Storm with the wrist lock. AJ Styles over, AJ with a wrist lock of his own. Johnny Storm rolling through, takes AJ's wrist. He's got the wrist. Arm drag there, and it looks like AJ's not moving on the best. Now swinging arm drag. They managed to speed up the pace. Leg sweep there on AJ Styles. AJ Styles with a leg sweep of his own on Johnny Storm. A roll out, a nip up, and a standoff. Fantastic. Charm ringing true, this match has been on for less than a minute. And I can quite honestly say it's already a classic. I remember before this event, a lot of people were hoping, they were praying for Joy Storm versus AJ Styles, and I was as well because I pray that AJ Styles hits the Styles clash on Johnny Storm and send his ratings even lower. AJ Styles sinking in, sinking in some vicious blows there on Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm off the ropes over the back of AJ Styles. AJ Styles not sure what's going on. And a leg lariat takes AJ Styles down quite smartly. He rolls out of the ring. My lord, Tony, that leg lariat so strong. AJ Styles turned inside out and upside down all around and then crash bang on the ground. I think AJ. AJ to the outside. He's 
got to take the momentum away from Johnny Storm. I think AJ Styles might underestimate his UK counterpart. Johnny Storm is proving that he's playing for keeps. Well, it's very unwise to... Oh, and Johnny Storm flicked back in AJ Styles. It's a very bad idea to underestimate a man who is a former All England champion here in the FWA. Oh, drop kick to the goalies, and now AJ Styles proving that he is a true innovator of wrestling moves. The fans are showing their appreciation. Johnny Storm's on the outside, not looking too good. Go AJ, and now, oh, he did a suicide dive fake there and flip back in, but Johnny now on the apron, climbing to the top. AJ seen him, the question is though, oh, Horikarana from the top rope from Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm from the outside in off the top rope, takes him over, takes him out with the Hurricane Rana. It's a dangerous place to be outside, and if I know Johnny Storm, the Grease Ball has landed! Johnny Storm up and over, taking down AJ Styles, all of his weight crashing down on the American. AJ Styles not sure what he's in for. Both men outside and the 10 count will start to be issued. You've got to believe though that neither man will be settled with a draw. And I don't think any of the fans would like it either. Johnny Storm now, back in the ring. Johnny Storm trying to get the fans psyched up, but not they need to. Johnny Storm outside, AJ Styles takes him over. AJ Styles taken over with a flying head. This is from Johnny Storm, sent crashing into the guardrail. AJ Styles seems to have hit the back of his head. Johnny Storm went for a baseball slide, and AJ caught it. However, little did AJ know that, her, uh, that Johnny Storm was then going to hurt him on the hard wooden floor. And now, Johnny Storm has the advantage. But I wonder how wise it is to fight on the outside. Bloody hell, Tony! He just tried to throw him into the guardrail. AJ Styles left it. The Von kick to the face. Johnny Storm, he's in. He's on Dream Street, Nick. As a competitor of the American X Division, Johnny Storm is no match to for AJ Styles on the outside. Oh my! Johnny managed to get the advantage. Did you see that, Nick? AJ Styles tried to vault up onto the guardrail. He slipped, and Johnny Storm, being the ring veteran that he is, capitalized on a missed move there. Took AJ Styles down with a DD. AJ Styles is not sure where he is. Johnny with a cover, but AJ kicks out, Tony. I have to tell you that I hope AJ so gets the win. I'm sorry, but I just... I'm sorry. Johnny Storm is a man who is all talk. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's, he's got these nice flash moves, but he's nothing to the phenomenal AJ Styles. You can root for whoever you want. It was a standing switch, waistlock reversal. He throws Johnny over, and AJ didn't know Johnny landed on his feet. AJ now, moves on, caught, reversed it. The most beautiful move I've seen in ages, Nick. A, a moonsault into a reverse DDT. I've not seen it anywhere else. I'm pretty sure it's one of Mr. Stoll's very own. In for the count. AJ with the cover, but it was not meant to be. Dominant control at the moment. It looks like it's going for a pin. Johnny Storm kicks with a two count. AJ just couldn't get the pinfall there. He was too close to the ropes. He had no room to spin body weight. Johnny Storm able to get a shoulder up, no problem. If, if I'm going to get my money's worth that I gave AJ Styles, he better defeat Johnny Storm tonight. It's going to take him a hell of a lot more than that to take away Johnny Storm tonight as AJ goes in with a discus punch. Quite simply, waffles Johnny Storm. Nice, that was a beautiful firm face. Hopefully, Johnny Storm, nose broken, face all puffy. But now, Johnny Storm will burn. Johnny Storm as an opponent. This is the first time these two have ever met. AJ Styles, however, waistlock, turbine, superplex. That was super. That's one of phrase. Johnny Storm hit the mat and went across it, smeared everywhere. Wonderful. AJ Styles does look a little bit, be a little bit dazed himself. He goes to the pin. Johnny Storm manages to kick out. It's going to take more than that, Mr. Styles. If you think you can come over here to our country and fight one of our premier guys and put him away with a move like that, well, you're sadly mistaken. Um, I'm really 
quite disappointed that Johnny Storm kicked out of that. He should have known better, because now AJ Styles has no option but to up the ante. AJ has set Johnny in the corner, now AJ coming in with a flipping drop kick, and then a discus clothesline. He jumps in, drop kick off the chest, and a brutal, brutal discus clothesline. Johnny Storm was folded up. Johnny Storm is... Well, Johnny Storm is out. The two count, three count, no! Two! Only a two, Tony, only a two. How did he kick out after the force of that lariat? I'm surprised he's still breathing, let alone kicking out. Johnny Storm seems to have this spirit about him that'll keep on going, but hopefully AJ Styles will snuff out the camel that is Johnny. And now, off the ropes, AJ has caught Johnny. It looks as though, oh, is he going for it? Is he going, is this, is he going for the Styles clash? Is he, Johnny's fighting, fight Johnny! Johnny, get to the ropes. He's got to the ropes. Oh, AJ with a vicious power bomb. And if that doesn't leave a grease mark on the canvas, I don't know what will. No! Johnny kicked out. Tony, what is coming to this world when AJ Styles can't put someone away as simple as Johnny Storm? Johnny Storm seems to be okay. He was in the ropes. He was thinking, I'm safe now. AJ Styles just basically turns it into a power bomb and knocks him silly. He's got him in the corner now. Basically, just putting the boots into him. What are we going to see next? Now, AJ Styles runs. Oh! That's quite blatantly put his nose on the other side of his face. Look at the day's confusion on Johnny Storm. That was the most beautiful drop kick I've ever seen to the face. Johnny Storm, your ringside granny fans are going to save you now. <laughs> the phenomenal AJ Styles is going to crush you like a bug. How is Johnny Storm able to compete? I mean, oh! What's Johnny Storm doing? Using ring smarts. He's seen what AJ Styles is up to. He knows what to do. And now, Johnny Storm with a drop kick to the back of AJ Styles' head. And Johnny Storm indeed is ringing it using his ring smarts. I mean, he has been all over the place. He's been in England, Europe, America, hell, even Amsterdam. It's well and truly true. Johnny Storm is a well-traveled man. Johnny Storm, as much as he needs to win this match, I'm not sure it's worth him going through what he's going through. AJ Styles is a very, very clever man. Well, it looks like Johnny got him. Hell shot to the gut. Now for his... Oh, AJ's caught him. Could it be? Kryptonite crunch, Tony! AJ Styles now is the Kryptonite crunch. Johnny Storm, his body's limp, lifeless. He's, he's, this is, it's over, Nick. It's over. Johnny Storm must have deposited a few of his low vertebrae with that move. AJ with a car in this guy. Yes. Oh, yes! Come on, Johnny. Prove that you can do it. If you want to be a star in the international scene, all it's going to take is to beat someone like AJ Styles. I know you can do it. The fans in your corner know you can do it. Just come on, Johnny. Come on. Let me tell you something, though, Tony. If Johnny Storm can beat AJ Styles tonight, and he won't, if he can beat AJ Styles tonight, AJ's only the tip of the iceberg. Americans have heart like Johnny does not. Johnny Storm has more heart than you do, Nick, and that's all that matters to me. What's happening here? AJ, both Johnny on the top. It looks like he's going for... He wouldn't. He wouldn't oh, try it. This is... No, Johnny! Reverse Hurricane! He goes with a rewind drama and AJ Styles from one side of the ring to the other. Yeah, for the count. If Johnny could storm... If Johnny Storm could just get up now and drape an arm over... Oh! Two count. Surely that was it. Surely it was over. That was the heart I was talking about, Tony. AJ with the heart of an American kicks out of a potentially ending maneuver. And now Johnny Storm is waving the fist. He sends AJ to the right. AJ for the reversal. Johnny down. Johnny on the box. He springs over. However, AJ with a waist off. Goes for a German suplex. Nails it. And now AJ Styles is going for his trademark front face slam. Up, down, wherever you want to call it. It was just a devastating move. Johnny Storm's face has been knocked about all over the place. He's pretty boy looks. I'm going to be so pretty after this, Nick. Once again, AJ Styles failed to snuff out Johnny Storm with that move. And now AJ's going up top for something a little special. Once again, high risk. Here we go. It looks as though AJ Styles is going for the spiral tap. Oh, and Johnny Storm sees what's coming. Rolls out of the way using the ring smarts instilled in him in his eight-year career. It's going to take more than this to take out Johnny Storm. What's wrong with this picture, Tony? Johnny's up, AJ's down, and now, no, reverse her Karana, no, no, no. He was going for the Super Rewind Rana, but AJ Styles is going for it, is it the Star Clash, is it, come on Johnny, fight back, fight back. Yes, he gets it, nails it, Rewind Rana. One, two, kick out, oh, nobody kicks out of that move, nobody. Johnny Storm with one of the most vicious 
vicious, brutal, nasty Hurricanranas that I've ever seen in this business. And now AJ Styles, the poor AJ Styles, is at the mercy of this sadistic British. It looks like the tide has changed, although it's changed back rather quickly. Johnny Storm was up. AJ Styles looks to be climbing the top rope and he's taking Johnny Storm with him. Well, what's he trying to do? Is this some sort of tornado DDT? Tornado DDT looks up. Steve Linsky booted in the head, he's outside the ring, he's holding himself, what's going on, Johnny Storm's fighting back, he's fighting back, he's showing that the heart of a British man is a very big heart, and now Johnny Storm is going up to the top, and now AJ's caught him, no, could no, it be, it's caught him. It's like how no, I get my money's no. worth, Tony, could it not be, top rope Styles clash, oh! top rope Styles clash, Johnny Storm is limp, he's down, he's not moving, however the referee's down, this is a miscarriage of justice, Johnny Storm could have kissed goodnight to his international career. Referee Steve Linsky outside the ring. It looks as though AJ is going to try and bring him back in and prove that you know he won this match already. If the referee had been there, he'd, he'd be all over. As the crowd are saying, AJ Styles killed Johnny. There is no way that Johnny can kick out now. Steve Linsky, make the free. What is AJ doing? He's picking him up. This is good. This might. He might regret doing this later, Tony. It looks as though AJ is not through punishing Johnny Storm. I think he's going to try it again. Surely two of these. Nobody can handle two of these. Not even someone of Johnny Storm's caliber. Well, AJ Styles is going to hit the exclamation mark here tonight in the York Hall because he doesn't want Johnny to take his spot over in America. He's now, taking him up. He's taking him up. What does it look like? He's going for a gorilla. He's going for a gorilla press off the second row. Oh my God! Johnny Storm. Oh! We take you now to Vendetta 2003, where Johnny Storm took on former ECW star Super Crazy, who flew in all the way from Mexico for a shot at Johnny Storm's XPW European Championship belt. Watch this matchup to find out why many people consider Super Crazy to have been Johnny Storm's biggest threat to date. <laughs> Phenomenal athlete, but he's nothing compared 
to Johnny Storm, Tony. I mean, Johnny Storm has the most coveted title in Europe today. You know, Nick, you do say one thing about Johnny Storm having a European title and it is being a coveted title. Well, Nick, I'm going to agree with you 100%. But one thing I have to ask you is, where is Johnny Storm's belt? All the fans have asked it, and I'm asking it as well. To me, Johnny Storm is a European champion in name only. Hey, Tony, come on. Back up a little bit. That's a little harsh. If you ask me, the XPW European title is so prestigious, you don't need a belt. I mean, why give a belt to Johnny Storm when he's never, ever going to lose it? Well, that is one way of looking at it, Nick. As you can hear there, Nick, um, it seems as though the fans are questioning Johnny Storm's sexual preference, but I'm not going to get into that right now. One thing I'm going to get into, though, is this match is fought under XPW rules. Basically, what that means is, Nick, they're a touch more lenient. And knowing Johnny Storm's like for jumping off furniture, tables, ladders and chairs, it's all going to be allowed tonight. I think it's a crying shame when Johnny Storm has to be dragged down to these barbaric contests, especially in front of 400-plus homophobic fans. What is it with them all, Tony? I mean, they're so discriminating. Johnny Storm's such an upstanding... Super crazy, don't even think of touching their hair. That hair is worth more than anything you own. Well, Nick, it looks as though we're about to get out of the way, but Johnny Storm, as per usual, is pissing and moaning before the match. All we want to do is get the match started, and all I want to do is see Super Crazy whip Johnny Storm from one side of the building to the other. Is that too much to ask? And they lock up, and Johnny Storm with flashy headlocks on, and there he goes, he takes him down, and he floats over, and that's his way of telling Crazy, I'm the man in the air. WA. You know, Nick, it was a lovely drop toe hold, drop down, and then, you know, showing a little bit of cocky attitude to Super Crazy. But you can bet your bottom dollar Super Crazy's gonna be right back. Well, we'll see. If you ask me, Johnny Storm can fly with the best of them, and there's no doubt that the insane Luchador can fly. Oh, and there he goes. He takes the leg down, and he's going for some sort of Mexican hold. And, oh, bloody hell! Look at that, Nick. Straight away into an ankle lock, but Johnny Storm is too close to the ropes for it to be effective straight away. He is going to have to break that count by the five, and he does, Nick. I saw what you were about to say, but he did break the hole. Oh, come on. I know XPW are lenient with the rules, but that is a bottom rope he's holding there, Tony. When you hold that rope, you break it. And now Johnny is peeved, and now it's the insane luchador with the advantage. He's got the headlock there as Johnny Storm sends him off into the ropes. Shoulder block from Super Crazy. Johnny Storm with a sleep. Super Crazy. And there we go, Johnny Storm and the insane loose dog exchanging flying maneuvers. Johnny went for the oh hurricanrana, but he got flicked off. And now a tilt to our into a backbreaker. Absolutely fantastic. That's the kind of action we like to see here. Johnny Storm up over again with a tilt to take Super Crazy over the Mexican arm drag. The arm drag was art and now Springboard cross body and oh wait, Luchador, he grabbed the hair and he managed to get the pinfall. As he goes in with a Maestro Cradle and a two count again for Johnny Storm as both men stand up. Double drop kick from both men, Super Crazy up and it's just a stare down. See, I told you, whatever the insane Luchador can bring, oh! Beat it, and there's my way of showing it. Super kick to the face of Super Crazy, and now the insane Luchador is going to be seconds away from losing to Johnny. You know what, Nick? I'm not entirely well. I'm not at all shocked at the behaviour of Johnny Storm. After that little sequence, straight away, Johnny Storm disrespects Super Crazy. Super Crazy to the outside. He rolls straight back into the ring. Oh, what an awesome spinning heel kick takes Johnny Storm down. What? Cowardly spin heel kick there from the insane Luchador, super crazy. Whips Johnny off the road, Johnny off the road. Oh, Sons of Flip, that's the other way. No! Oh, nice basement drop kick there on super crazy. Super crazy there, rolled out of the sunset flip. That would have been it for sure. I Needs mean, Johnny Storm, but he kicked him clean in the face. And now Johnny Storm, the poor Johnny Storm, he could be victim to some dangerous, stupid maneuver. Oh, oh Nick, oh! were applauding super crazy efforts. Johnny Storm managed to get up behind his back and managed to push him off. Johnny Storm now up on the top rope. Nick, I, I not usually seen. Oh my word! Johnny can fly. That's the
for sure, and he's just wiped out that Mexican fool, damn it. You know, Nick, as much as I do, well, dislike Johnny Storm, he can pull out all the stops when it comes to being in the squared circle. A picture-perfect moonsault from the top rope to the outside of the ring, and now he's battering super crazy, smacking him up against side the guardrail. Johnny Storm back inside the ring, asking for the fans, fans, sorry, fans appreciation, but they just won't give it to him. These fans are a bunch of ungrateful sods, quite frankly. Johnny Storm is in control. Insane Luchador is getting back into the ring. He won't get counted. Oh, and a clothesline by Super Crazy. Super Crazy springs up. Oh, 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 over a second rope moves so there too. Deep. No, no, Johnny Storm just managed to kick out. A legal use of the, of the ropes there, Tony. Springboard onto him. That should have been the end of a contest, quite frankly. And now look at him again. He's going to the top. That's illegal, Tony, and you know it. Super Crazy up on the top rope with a nice missile drop kick, taking Johnny Storm outside of the ring. It looks as though the advantage is swung back into the favour of Super Crazy as he manages to fall over the top rope. Oh, and back inside. Oh, over the lovely basement drop kick again on Johnny Storm and an up and over, but Johnny Storm managing to move out of the way just enough to drive Crazy down into the mat. Johnny Storm with a Greco-Roman sidestep and Super Crazy went down on the mat. I'm loving this contest, Tony. Oh, and Johnny Storm, he's going to crotch him on the ring. Nick, I know this is an XPW rules match, but that is just not cool for. Why would Johnny Storm do that? Super Crazy crotched on the guardrail. The fans are getting their money's worth right here, right now. What can Johnny Storm's plan be? Oh, you know what? Super Crazy wants to be extreme. Well, Johnny's going to be extreme. That's what he's planning. And there he is, smashing his head into the railing, asking the fans. Fans don't know what they're talking about. Look at the blatant disregard, Johnny. Johnny Storm is just tearing up the outside. He's using chairs, he's using the guardrail, showing no respect to Super Crazy whatsoever. You would think that his title meant something to him, and he'd want to defend it the right way, Nick. But no, no, this is Johnny Storm. Tony talks on Super Crazy with chair, and I'm like, oh, you saw him with a chair, and I loved it. Basically, it was the smash mouth driving the chair right into Johnny Storm's head. Johnny down and out on the mat. Super crazy, he's got in control. Oh, you love it, and you sicken me. You call yourself a commentator. This is dirty shenanigans all the way. Oh, an awesome corkscrew elbow there. Nick, I just want to see a good match. The super crazy, I thought he would have gone for a pinfall. There'll be other ideas. Sends Johnny off into the ropes, clothesline takes Storm down. That looked like a chop in the throat. I think that was another opportunity for a disqualification there, Tony. Johnny Storm is down, and he's pulling it by the hair, Tony. What kind of man is this? Nick, it's nothing that Johnny still wouldn't do as Super Crazy up on the road. Oh my lord, the fans in Broxbourne are actually educated. I didn't even know they could speak to 10, count to 10, let alone in another language. Super Crazy with a signature 10 count punch there, and the fans responding the way Super Crazy knows how in Spanish. Johnny Storm is down on the canvas at the moment, and Super Crazy is soaking up the adulation. Johnny Storm now, the courageous Johnny Storm, he's fighting up, can he dig deep to fight out, and there it is, Springboard, wheelbarrow, and oh, nice move from Johnny Storm there, vaults off the second rope, straight into the DDT, and he's down, and this will be the freak out, Tony, one, two, and a three, what a kick out from Super Crazy, that was, a, that was a three, Tony, surely, no, Nick, it was a two, as you can see, by the way, that the match is still going on, and it's not finished, what is it with Linsky, that was a Really, really slow count there from the rotund referee. And now, Johnny Storm, he's whipping Super Crazy off the ropes again. Catches him. Oh, lovely flatline of time move. Pitfall. So, no, Super Crazy again with a shoulder up. Again, the momentum has swung Johnny Storm's way. And I gotta admit, Nick, he is using a very good arsenal of moves to take out Super Crazy. But moves like that, we don't really need to see. That's another scar for the forehead of Super Crazy. You see, unlike Johnny Storm with his chiseled good. Looks quite frankly, super crazy is one ugly son of a gun. Lovely headbutt there, Johnny now disfiguring super crazy body slug, and now he could be setting up for the end, the beginning of the end, Tony. You know, Rick, I'm sorry that I was actually caught up in what the fans were chanting about Johnny Storm. I won't repeat it because this is a family show, but Johnny Storm is going up to the top rope, but Super Crazy has stirred, and he is up on his feet, and Super Crazy manages to catch Johnny Storm, looked like he was going for a Gunrana, and Super Crazy sends him over, oh, awesome! 
awesome, awesome tap out, Johnny. Can't believe it, he just dropped Johnny on his head and now he's got his painful STF. But if I know Johnny with his heart as big as England itself, he will reach that road, Tony. I know he will. Maybe so, Nick. He's arching. He's moving his way closer and closer to the road. Super crazy is going to have to break the hold now, Nick. But he was really wrenching back there. It looks as though crazy may have done some permanent damage. Tell me, Tony, do you want super crazy to win this contest? You know, Nick, I'm an unbiased man at the moment. I don't really care. Oh, that's such a weak answer, and you know it. You're just not a patriot. I want the British man to win this contest. Oh, whoa, 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 Tony, what's this? Nick, sorry, Nick, this is a Mexican circle done the right way. As Johnny Storm is being rolled around the ring, Nick, the hyperextension in Johnny Storm's knees must be killing him. There is no way in the world I would love to be caught in this move. Johnny Storm is going to want to tap out very soon. Oh, Tony, look at that. You sure that's not illegal? That looks like a joke to me. I'm pretty sure, Nick, he's just wrenching back. He's just wrenching back on Johnny Storm's head and neck, basically continuing with the STF move that he did earlier. He did break the hole, though. It looks like he may have another idea. It looks like he was trying to pull the spine out of Johnny Storm and perhaps use it as a toothpick afterwards. I've got to tell you, I'm not sure I like this guy. He's been drinking too much of the Mexican tap water, if you ask me. As Johnny Storm is down, still down on the mat. He's not being as cocky and he's not showing as much bravado at the moment. Oh, super crazy with a nice chop there. Johnny Storm just literally bouncing off the ropes. Oh, and a headbutt takes Storm down to the mat. What bullish tactics from this Mexican. I'm, I'm horrified. This is gruesome. This is horrifying and this is disgusting, Tony. I don't know if I can watch anymore. Well, you know, Nick, you don't have to watch what I'm going to. It's super crazy, still in charge, picks up Johnny Storm and sends him off the ropes. Johnny Storm manages reversal. New reversal. He goes for the roll. Johnny's got him. One, two, no. A reversal. Johnny again. Oh, and Johnny's got another cover. A One, two, now. two. No. Both men managed to spring up and Super Crazy now. Looks like he's going for a backslide. Johnny Storm up into the Hurricane position, but Super Crazy managed to hang on. No, Super Crazy isn't, and it's Johnny Storm. Oh, pinfalls coming all over the place here. Johnny Storm boots to the face, and there he goes. Another pinfall. One, two. Oh, Super Crazy on top now. Super Crazy with a roll through, but Johnny Storm, Super Crazy does have hold of uh, Johnny Storm's head. The referee is going to need to check on that, but Johnny Storm is up, and so is Super Crazy. Both men caught. Same idea in mid-air collision, both men are down. That was a horrendous foot in the middle of the air there, Tony. Both men are down. If both men stay down, Johnny Storm is walking out, still the XPW European champion. Obviously, title change cannot change hands on the draw. But you've got to believe that Johnny will want to satisfy his friends and family, but you know he's got some fans, Tony. He wants to walk out with the title. It's true, Nick. Referee Steve Linskin administering the 10 count, but as both men slowly make it to their feet, Johnny Storm is up first. Johnny Storm now runs into the corner for Super Crazy. Rewind! We're right! And there he goes! He's hit One, one two, no! Super Crazy! Super Crazy managed to kick out Nick. Look at Johnny Storm's face. That balls and you know it, Tony! The Super Rewind Horikarana! That should have been it! And there! A gust spear into the corner and Super Crazy now! It can't be long now! Super Crazy must be on his last legs! Johnny Storm took him in there. Super Crazy managed to pull up onto his head. One, two, no! Johnny Storm managed to kick out there from the sunset flip. Both going with the same idea. Oh, crashing down. One, two, no! Super Crazy still not out. Johnny hits the storming driver, but Super Crazy kicked out of that as well. I mean, Johnny's thrown all his big moves at Super Crazy, and he's still out. Oh, Nick! Bloody hell! That was like a driving drop kick. And One, no, no. no, Super Crazy. Super Crazy's not done, Nick. He's got plans for Johnny Storms. Go for some sort of sit down. Oh, there we go. The spinning power bomb, sit out power bomb. Excuse me. He, he just managed to kick out. Of it. Nick, I'm, I'm stunned. Uh, you're stunned. I'm bloody stunned too. Ducks the close line. Super crazy. Goes on power. Oh, Nick, he's stunned. Oh, no, no. He got it. No. Yes. Nick, Johnny yes. Storm on the Johnny Storm's feet. But on the second rope, Johnny Storm used the ropes as leverage to keep that belt. Nick, I'm disgusted. Nick, Tony, what are you talking about? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I got something in my eye. I think blinked and missed it. All I know is I heard a sound of a, of a hand hitting the canvas three times and next thing I know, Johnny Storm's music play. He's still the XPW European Heavyweight Champion, Tony. The next contest is taken from the FWA's Northern Exposure Tour. Fans travelled the length and breadth of the country 
to see this dream tag team match featuring the anarchist Doug Williams and his partner, the now retired Phoenix Jody Fleisch, take on the team of Christopher Daniels and the wonder kid himself, Johnny Storm. Many fans consider this to be not only the match of the night, but also a very strong contender for match of the year. Tony, you've got Chris Daniels, the fallen angel, and Jody Fleisch, the phoenix, ready to square off against each other. And I think this match should really get going. The people want to see it. Hell, I want to see it. These wrestlers in the ring want it. Let's give it to them. Jody, getting these people up. I mean, Alex, to be perfectly honest, I think the crowd couldn't be more into this match, even if they tried. This truly is going to be a one-off original amazing match from the FWA. The anticipation is over, the lockup has begun, and it's Chris Daniels with the early lead going into the wrist lock. Jody Fleisch rolls through, backflips over, oh turns it round, reverses the wrist lock straight onto Daniels. Jody Fleisch as quick as a cat, and out of that, and into a wrist lock of his own. I tell you what, Chris Daniels in a world of hurt here. He head nips out, spins under, takes Jody. The action is thick and fast here in the opening seconds of this match, but you know Jody's going to find a reversal as he rolls through, head nips up his own, turns around, takes the leg. Chris Daniels is down, and he puts on a vice like grip. A nice ankle lock there from uh, from Jody Fleisch. You normally see the leg whip and maybe a pin, but Jody Fleisch using his brain goes straight for the ankle. Daniels manages to get to the rope though, and he's once again weaseling away on the outside. He was only in that hole for a matter of seconds, but Daniels noticed had a little bit of difficulty putting full pressure on that ankle. If you if you cannot walk in a wrestling ring, you are nowhere near the formidable opponent. That, do you know when near the formidable kind of opponent that Jody Fleisch is expecting in Chris Daniels? Daniels needs to stay in a slower pace match. He cannot match Jody move for move and for speed, no matter how quick Chris Daniels is. Most definitely, as the both men are circling the ring now, we're about to get the lock up again and in with the lock up and Jody Fleisch now. Jody Fleisch looks like he's going for that wrist but Chris for Daniels find as much as he could but Jody Fleisch does manage to get the wrist lock as Daniels is down on the knee I mean as we said before earlier on this tape that is a, it is a really painful hold to be kept in especially if it's reapplied reapplied and held in there for a very long time Jody laying in those forearms to the arms of Chris Daniels you saw Chris Daniels going for the hair earlier with that short hair he's not going to get a grip and Chris Daniels flips through turns around takes a leg of his own hits the ropes Jody rolls over sleeps through Daniels cartwheels out kick and a knee and a forearm to the back of Jody Fleisch sends him back off into ropes, ducks a close line, Jody up into the top rope, up and oh over, my word. hits the ropes again, comes that. back, flying head scissors, oh my word, a flying head scissors from the Phoenix, flying Thank kick, back up. spinning heel kick, Chris Daniels is out of the ring and this match off kicked up with a bang, Jody Fleisch, large and charged at the moment, I tell you what, what an explosive couple of seconds of action there. I think that was just a pure taste of what we're going to see in this tag team contest. FWA officials were desperate to book this match. They have it right here in Bolton. They didn't have it in one of the bigger shows. They've had it here exclusively on the Northern Exposure Tour, showing to all our fans that no matter what kind of FWA show you go to, you're going to get your money's worth out of it. As you see, Christopher Daniels there. Come on, Doug Williams. Christopher Daniels doesn't want any piece of Doug Williams. There's no two ways about it. Johnny Storm does hold a victory over Doug Williams from the season's beating Tony. And he look is. at Jody Fleisch, Tony. He wants to get in with Johnny Storm. This man, these two are heated rivals. It's coming up, you can tell that. Johnny's in the corner and oh, right to the jaw. And a second knee there, Johnny Storm is taken out. Are we gonna see it? One of the trademark moves of the anarchist Doug Williams is going to the top rope. Is this going to be it? Bomb scare knee drop, and he lands it perfectly on Johnny Storm. One, One two, two, and oh. kick out by Storm. I tell you what, Doug Williams is a house on fire. This is the problem when you work on one guy, that gives you the advantage if you can beat that guy. If you don't, that second man is fully fresh, and Doug Williams is proving that now. Johnny sends him into the corner. He's going over. We've seen this before. Rewind Hurricane like coming up. This could be the end. Rewind is going up. Doug Williams makes Doug it. Turns it around. Johnny Storm backflips out of it. Doug Williams comes around, goes for the revolution DDT. Doug Williams comes out of the corner and nails oh it. What? Manages to get it on the second time as Johnny Storm almost threw the ropes. One, two, no. if Daniels hadn't been there, that would have been over. Daniels pulls Johnny into his corner to make the attack. Smart move, make sure he's a legal man, but he gets greeted by a forearm from Doug Williams. Sends the, the Daniels off into ropes. Williams reverses it. Blow oh on the driver. One, two, and oh. Kick out from Doug Williams there. Daniels is maybe going to have to try and wear him down a little bit more. Every Oh my word! Tony, we've seen this before. That is a setup for the ascension to heaven. That picture perfect spring ball moonsault to the top and down. Oh, hits it perfectly, surely not. One, two.
to Jamie Dean with a drop kick to the back of Daniel's head, breaks out, that could have been all over right there. Most definitely, that I thought was almost going to be it at the moment. Doug Williams though, still is proving that he has that bit of fight as Joe but Jones. But Joe sets up. up. Springboard Hurricane Rana takes Daniels on the top of his head, two and four. Oh, very near fall there, a kick out there from the fallen angel. Jody Fleisch now goes with the kick, but Daniels does it. Oh my word! He falls up to the top row, goes for the moonsault. Johnny Storm breaks up the three count. This action, uh, sorry, this action is so fast, I can hardly catch my breath. One of these men has to alienate one man, get the other guy out of the ring. Because so far, the tag team partners is a break up the hole. Johnny goes to oh top my top word. row, spinning heel kick. That could be all for Jody Fleisch. That was an awesome, awesome. I mean, from the top row. I mean, wherever you do it, Johnny Storm. It looks like he's maybe setting up for the hurricane run. Oh, oh, oh that could be one. one. The nearest fall of the match goes to Johnny Storm, but as a wise man once said, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and that is not what finished the match. What more can Johnny Storm do? He's setting up for something here. Jody tries to block it. It looks he's, like he's maybe going for that Storm the wind driver. driver. I don't know if jo Jody's going to... Oh, a kick. A kick there from Jody Flyce. I mean, Jody Flyce is going to try and get his wits about him. Oh, no, oh, devastating kick to the back. Hits the ropes, come man. back. Johnny hooks him. Jo Tony here. Oh, he's he got it. it. That was on the head two and throw. Time if Doug Williams had not have broken that up, but Chris Daniels over the top takes the him. This is what I spoke about earlier. Two men are isolated in that ring. It's going to come down to Storm or Fleisch. Which man can get to their feet first and win this match? I don't think it's going to be jo Jody Fleisch. He just got dropped on his head. Johnny Storm is my pick to get the pin in this contest. Jody Fleisch has, has, has had so much damage inflicted on him in this match. I totally agree with you, Johnny Storm, if he can do it. Now is the town. One, one, two, two, no. The ref's slow on that. Johnny one, had it. One, two. two. We're seeing these near falls now, Tony. This is surprising. Jody, Jody runs in, backflip, oh my word, it was like a released German super, it's one, two, no, Jody Fleisch managed to still kick out, that was devastating, that was vicious, that he let was... go of him in mid-air, Tony, with Johnny with a kick, and a hole oh, and run of nowhere, we saw that against Jack Xavier, that could finish the contest, make the cover, if Jody can make that cover right now, this match could be over, but you can tell he has no idea where he, no, I was um, wrong, he knows exactly where he's going, Jody we're Fleisch, seeing this is the setup for the 720 DDT. If he hits it, this contest is finished. This is the starting point for the 720 and a whole world of hurt for Johnny Storm. Johnny Flash manages to get the kick in. He's up on the top rope and bloody oh hell, oh. Tony. Did you see the impact of that move? Johnny doesn't even know what day it is, let alone who he's wrestling to. And Daniel! Oh, Daniels comes in. That would have been Alex. That oh, would have been Alex. Oh, Daniels. Williams taken down. I tell you what, Daniels now is the man in this match. He is on top. I can predict you we will see a finish to this tag match in the following 60 seconds or less. This is where it's going to end. You can sense it. The momentum has changed. Daniels is on top. Jody and Williams are in trouble. And Daniels is the man. Storm back up. This doesn't look good for the team of the heavyweight champion and the Phoenix Jody Flash. You're right, it doesn't. Christopher Daniels and Johnny Storm in charge now, but both been reversed. Versi though comes back. Johnny back drops over the top. This leaves Daniels in the ring with Flash. Williams, Williams with a kick, sends a forearm backwards. One, One two, two, Bridges. Three. Oh my He's God! Got it. The Phoenix. He oh got my it. He God! Got it. That was absolutely out of nowhere. I said to you from the beginning, Tony, they need to isolate one man. Johnny Storm was on the outside and Daniels cannot believe it. What a fantastic match we've seen. Never seen a match like in the FWA and that was totally awesome. Williams and Storm are the men right now. It's clear that whether it's a beloved fan favourite or a hated rule breaker, Johnny Storm is one of the top talents in all of British wrestling. Join me, John Atkins, next time for more FWA TV.